Hello and welcome to another video, another episode, or whatever you want to call it, of Coffee and Stocks. In today's video, we're going to quickly talk about something interesting that happened yesterday to Lordstown Motors, right? So maybe a lot of you have already seen it, but we're going to go through that right now. But before we get started, how about we get some coffee? All right. So I just want to get one thing straight and that I am not a financial advisor. So please do not take my words as advice. Please don't forget to drop a like on this video as well as a subscribe because honestly it does go a long way in supporting the channel. I do want to thank every single one of you because we currently have 519 subscribers. You guys are amazing. Uh, we will keep doing uh, more and more giveaways. So, you know, press on that subscribe button so we can get more giveaways to you guys. So let's get one, one thing straight up. Here we go. Diamond Peak Holdings. They, yeah, they are currently down today, uh, 0.91 percent. But overall, they're doing pretty, pretty good. As of this morning, they were down at $26, which is around 3.48 percent uh, to the downside, which isn't the worst thing in life. Obviously, we've seen worse. Obviously, in the past, in the past week, we saw that we were at 21.80. That was more than 30 percent. 30.6 percent down which is a huge sell-off but it's not as scary as you know as other things that has happened like the market crash on you know six months ago it was it was kind of it was kind of scary anyways but today yeah they went all the way the highest of 27.90 i think right here it says the high of today was 28.12 it opened at 27 dollars which is pretty pretty good now a lot of you have already seen this and a lot of you might ask or others might ask why this happened and we're gonna see this uh, right now and this came out this morning uh, Demi Peak Holdings slumped 17% last week so actually a lot more last week uh, more than definition it was a correction yes a lot of people were scared and a lot of people were selling off which isn't the worst thing in life, but that's, you know, some people are scared and some people just hold, right? Obviously. So opportunities that um, with Diamond Peak, um, it's, a, it's an EV space. Um, it's brisk this year and Diamond Peak remains an interesting idea because Lordstown focus on electric trucks and electric trucks only. Now you see like uh, Hylion who focuses on different, on different, uh, aspects of ev like the class 8 trucks uh so i'm glad like personally personally talking i'm glad that i'm i am investing in ev companies but they don't actually compete with each other which could be a good thing or a bad thing because if they do compete with each other they're able to create better stuff and there's a, a bigger movement um overall but um you know it happens so in fact, uh, by way Diamond Peak, Lordstown is a catalyst for Workhorse. Obviously, uh, you know, Workhorse has been doing uh, fleet trucks and, and stuff like that. So that's very interesting. But the one thing that I do want to talk about that's very interesting to me, especially today that uh, that the what's it called? The freaking debate is coming in. Trump, President Trump tours the new Lordstown Endurance electric truck, pickup truck, right? That is very, very interesting. So the United States... Uh, President Donald Trump is shown is shown the new Lordstown Motors 2021 Endurance electric pickup truck by Lordstown Motors CEO Steve Burns. Pretty pretty interesting stuff. Um, obviously, this is on the south lawn of the White House on Monday, September 28th, um, in Washington D.C. The electric truck is expected to be produced in a year and will have plenty of competition from Tesla, Ford, and others very cool very very interesting um i don't think this was announced by anyone i think this was very random but um you know i don't know that's still that's it's weird for me but it's kind of it's it, lordstown is kind of having like trump endorsing this in a second saying hey you know this is the best company blah 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 now i don't want to make speculations um, and i don't want to get political because we're all investors and we all have to you know do our our homework and as an investor this is what you want to see 
You want to see big names telling that, that you know your truck is freaking great. So Washington, the day before traveling to Cleveland for his his first presidential debate with Joe Biden, President Donald Trump inspected the new endurance electric pickup truck from Ohio's Lordstown Motors outside the White House, claiming success for boosting the region's economic after gener General Motors uh, shuttered its plant that made the Chevrolet Cruze. Uh, and he and a quote. We've been working on this very, uh, very long and very hard, Trump said on the White House lawn, uh, where he examined the vehicle um, with Ohio uh, Senator Rob Portman, Dayton Republican uh, Mike Turner, and Trump's manufacturing policy chief Peter Navarro. Quote, this is a really unique thing because the four wheels are hub motor, hub motor. This is the only one that does this in the world and has lots of advantages. Uh, the, the areas the area was devastated when General Motors moved out. Trump continued beyond the plant. It's incredible what's happening in the area. It's booming now. It's absolutely booming. Now, I don't want to get political, but a lot of things that Donald Trump says has uh, he 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 kind of exaggerates thing. You know, he says, "Oh, it's booming now. Oh, it's thing." Now, I don't want to get political, and obviously, he wants to you know get Ohio on his side. So I just I'm, I'm I just want to move away from this as soon as I can. But uh, you know it's not the only one that does this. There's a lot of trucks out there. You know a lot of companies that are doing this trucks. But I believe that Diamond Peak Holdings really does have huge potential. And we see this increase since it was yesterday, right? So Monday it dropped off a little bit, which it dropped off more than 4.6 percent. And then obviously you know. This news came out that Donald Trump um, saw the truck and then it saw a, a huge increase of 7.5% to the upside. And it really hasn't dropped from the $26 to $28 range. So from here to here, sorry, from here to here, you know, it, it stayed around that, that mid range. Um, so it's, it's still pretty good. Market cap is still at $959 million. Uh, PE ratio is, you know, pretty low at 521, but it's still doing pretty, pretty well for itself. Um, so it's, it's doing good. It's doing good so far as an investor, myself and endurance. I do like this company. I do like the stuff that they're doing. Uh, they're doing amazing stuff, you know, with their truck and, and, and EV in general. EV is the future, honestly. And, you know, coming from you know, trying to target the new generation and they're more um, environmental, environmentally uh, aware of what, the, you know, what they want for themselves and what they want for the future. Um, companies who are doing EV trucks and EV anything in general really goes well with their ideas. Now, you can see right here that um, there's more there's more photos. Of then just checking it out which is pretty cool if you see this it's huge money for the company and huge money for the investors so that's that's pretty cool and I mean you also have the White House you know it's official White House Twitter tweeting this out so it's pretty much an endorsement but not really keep it in the down low obviously uh, so it, it's pretty interesting this also boosted uh, workhorse numbers Obviously, because they do have that um, that 10% share, that 10% stake in Lordstown Motors, so that's something very interesting to see. Obviously, Workhouse is a little workhorse, not Workhouse. Workhorse is a little low today, um, going down, uh, you know, 3.66%, which isn't the worst thing in life. Obviously, we are gonna go higher and higher. Um, it's highest in the 52-week high is $30.99. So if you still haven't bought into Workhorse, perfect opportunity before the contract comes in. If you haven't bought into Diamond Peak Holdings, you know, it's running for the same price. So you could, you know, be you be the judgment of your money. No one, no one should tell you how you should spend your money. But uh, do your homework before you, um, you know, invest in anything in anything even if donald trump is, is supporting it and endorsing it don't forget to do your homework because you will lose your money if you don't um 
do your homework and don't do your due diligence. Anyways, that was today's video. Hopefully, you guys liked it. Um, you know, Lord Star Motors doing some great stuff for the company. This is a great um, um, visuals for them and their company. You know, it makes it seem like you know the the president of the United States likes my truck, and so it takes five, six, seven steps ahead of their competitors. So that's very that's very interesting and very good to see as an investor. Anyways, don't forget to drop a like on this video as well as to subscribe because honestly, it does go a long way in supporting the channel. And see you guys next time on Coffee and Stocks.